Hey guys, John Craig here with Performance Plus Tennis. Welcome to today's video. We're going to break down the amazing forehand of Nick Kyrgios. And Nick has fundamentally a very sound forehand. He's got a unique style. And we're going to break some things down, show you things that you can add into your forehand to help improve its performance. And maybe also a couple things that you want to avoid that may lead to inconsistency in your forehand as well. So let's go ahead and begin and take a look at Nick right from the beginning here. And of course, Nick has a beautiful unit turn. We can see here that his left hand is on the racket well beyond turning sideways, so he knows he's getting a good strong coil. And he's into this coil before the ball has really even bounced or as it's bouncing, so he's really set up to time it off the bounce. So if you're having trouble with your forehand, make sure you're into your coil and you're ready to make your swing as that ball is coming into the bounce so you can really measure it up and time it. Okay, so let's take a look at Nick here as he goes into this forehand. This is fascinating. Look how the palm of his left hand is actually facing the camera. It's actually facing the camera there. It's pretty interesting how he turns that out. Then he stretches it. And he gets that left hand out to measure up the ball. And now he's going to take and pull that left hand away. That combined with pushing off the back leg is going to create this rotation in his core. And we're going to see how he comes in from this position. And this is this is the part that's kind of tricky for most rec players, is the racket is really you know, horizontal, and in some cases, it's actually beyond horizontal, and that's pretty tricky. So you gotta be careful about that, because it really requires the racket to make a pretty dramatic move to get to vertical in a very, very short amount of time. So unless you're practicing a tremendous amount and you're super talented, I think I'd prefer that you simplify your forehand compared to Nick's, but it's sure fun to watch him hit it. Another key thing about Nick, too, is look how high he gets his elbow. And he gets his elbow up so that he can really rotate his body and then use that upper arm or shoulder to drive into the ball, much like the way Pete Sampras used to do. Different style of forehand, but the raising of the elbow was quite similar to the way Pete would do it as well. So just an interesting thing. If you're trying to really generate more power in your forehand, when you do your turn, make sure that you lift that elbow up and away so you can generate shoulder power as you rotate into the ball. Okay? And of course, we can see Nick's got a you know, beautiful move here. He's got a natural lag, and it's a tremendous lag that comes from you know, his flexibility, but also his degree of, of relaxation. So when he's in this position, the racket is pointing out to the side, very characteristic of the modern forehand amongst a lot of these talented players. And then he is making his move here, and look at that tremendous lag, and look at the racket is completely flat, okay? But he's so talented, but in this just milliseconds, he can get the racket to vertical and then just drive it out and away. Okay, pretty amazing forehand. So let's just go ahead and watch him hit a few here. There he is again. Let's get that good, strong unit turn, looking really, really good with that left hand. That left hand, again, is pointing almost back at the camera. Very unique position, but a very powerful position to use that left arm to pull away, get those shoulders turning from the leg drive as well, and then up through the ball he goes. And then he it's not uncommon to see Nick fall off onto the left foot. So if he gets pushed back a little bit, you'll see them fall away there. He'll kind of pull away to the left and, and land on that left foot. Not uncommon for him to do that, but he's so strong that he's able to get away with that and hit a pretty good ball. Okay. Hits most of his forehands as well with an open stance. You'll see that he really has more of an open stance on many more forehands than not. And look how open his chest is to the ball. And even here, we can see his left foot is off the ground, but he's, he's tr got so much tremendous power and athleticism, it really doesn't affect him. He's able to really still control his swing and control his ball and make a good shot with a lot of depth, even off that back foot. This guy is so talented, it's crazy. So look at that again, that beautiful, I love that left hand coming away and stretching out there. If there's one thing you can do on your forehand that'll really help it is make sure you get your left hand involved in that forehand. And again, once again, we see, very interesting how we can actually see the strings now that are actually going to be hitting the ball. The strings are actually facing back towards the camera slightly. So he's beyond horizontal, which is quite interesting. And then he makes this move and the racket squares up. Look at that beautiful leg, contact. And now look at, the, he's got really good extension there, doesn't he? You can see he drove through that one a little bit more, forward and out for whatever reasons. And then he finishes off to the side. And of course you can see here how the left hand is still firm and holding his position, which I really, really like. 
is stop him from rotating. And that's critical because the left hand is going to initiate the rotation from here. It's going to initiate it, but then it's going to stop so that you can really not over-rotate and lose control of your shot. Okay, We watch him here. It's a beautiful left hand again, off the back foot, springing off that back leg. Look at that, pushing off the back leg and lifting up. He's amazing the way this guy plays. And then he does a couple things here too I want to point out. He hits a couple variation forehands, and so I want to point out what that exactly is and how he does that. Most of these are classic finish forehands, but here's one where he goes up over the head. And oftentimes we go up over the head because we're late and it, we have not really rotated as much as we normally do, so we don't have the classic finish where we finish across the body or around the body, as I like to say, not across, but around. But here I think we'll see where he goes up again and he goes over the head. And that's just a natural consequence sometimes of being late or, or just really not synchronizing the rotation as much. He doesn't really rotate as much on this one. He just kind of holds and up over here he goes with his variation finish. So that's a pretty cool forehand. You see a lot of players hitting variation for, forehands all the way back from the days of Bjorn Borg, who's kind of really started that trend. And then amongst the girls, it was Steffi Graf who hit a lot of variation forehands. So what are the big takeaways here? Use that left hand in your unit turn. Get that elbow up and away. Okay, get a good stretch of the left hand. Get yourself balanced on the back leg so you can push up into contact. Okay, I'm going to try to find one that I think is a little more conventional here. Here we go. Pushing up into contact. Extending out through the ball. Holding with the left hand. And then finishing and getting ready for your next ball. So really, what a great forehand to, to really model in many ways. I don't like that tricky take back. But other than that, Nick does so many things fundamentally well that we can try to apply into our forehand. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Please give us a like. Um, leave your comments down below. I'll respond to every comment. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do. Got lots more coming here from Performance Plus Tennis. Thanks for watching today's video, and we'll see you soon.